Hi musicians, it's Mr. Mac here. So today we're gonna read the book, The Squiggle. And this story is about um, our friend, the main character, who finds a red ribbon while walking with her class. And it's about them exploring and kind of imagining what the red ribbon could be and the different shapes it makes. What we're gonna do, since we're musicians, we're gonna explore what the red ribbon is with our voice. So we're going to kind of describe the shape of the ribbon ribbon with by moving our voices. So we're going to do that. But also, in this book, a lot of the things inside of it relate to the Chinese New Year, which just happened last week. So the Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year is a little bit different than the New Year's that happens on January 1st, which you might have celebrated with your families uh, when the ball drops and you count down. This one, the Lunar New Year, happens every year, but a little later, and it depends on when it happens. This year, it started on the 12th of February, which is a couple weeks ago, and ended on the 26th, which was last Friday. So it's 15 days long. Every Lunar New Year has a different animal associated with it. So this year is the year of the ox. And actually, I was born in a year of the ox, back in 1997. So you'll have to check and see what year you were born in. Um, so people all around the world celebrate the Lunar New Year, not just in China, but there's big celebrations in the US here too. So in the days leading up to the first day of the New Year, which happens when the moon is new, called a new moon, and you can't see it in the sky, that's the first day. Before that, families will clean their houses and sweep away all the bad luck to kind of bring in good luck for the new year. And that's what it's all about, bringing in good luck and kind of scaring away the bad. So on the first day of New Year's, which was February 12th, um, families visit with each other, have big feasts, kind of like our Thanksgiving that we have in the US. And they set off lots of fireworks. The most in the world are set off on um, the first day of the Lunar New Year. And these are kind of meant um, to scare away the bad luck and the monsters that bring bad luck. Um, in the days following the first day, um, families will exchange gifts and kids often get money in little red envelopes. Um, that's really common and red is actually a really common color in, during the Chinese New Year's festivals because red is a lucky color and with the fireworks scares away the bad luck. Um, after the first night, leading up to the last night, lots of festivals and parades happen um, with dragons and lions intricately designed that go down the streets. Lots of red, like I said, and the dragons and lions are meant to scare away the bad luck monsters as well. On the last day, which would be last Friday, February 26, happens on the full moon. So when the moon is all full and big and bright, everyone crowds in this, into the streets and there's a big lantern festival to kind of light up the new year and bring good fortune. So look out for these things that have to do with the Chinese or Lunar New Year while we read and explore the squiggle. Okay, have fun. The Squiggle by Carol Lexa Schaefer, illustrated by Pierre Morgan. My teacher says, time to walk to the park. So, as always, off we go in a bunched up, slow, tight, straight line. I am last. No one else sees what I see on the sidewalk. I grab it. Slither slish. Hmm, it could be. The dance of a big scaly dragon. Let's see, what would this one sound like if we used our voice? 
Or push up at the top of a long great wall. Okay, let's try this one. Snap, ta-da! Maybe it's the path of a circus acrobat. Hmm. What would this red line sound like? Ooh. Didn't really change. Crackle, crickle, hiss. The sky trail of popping fireworks. Hmm, let's try this one. Let's start here. Tug kaboom! It might be the poof of a stormy thundercloud. Hmm. I wonder what this one would sound like. Should we start here? Or maybe right here. Ooh. Ripple, shh. The circle of a deep, still pool. Let's try this one. Ooh. Ah, whoosh! The rise of the full fat moon. Let's try it. I'm starting from here. Oh, look. I like a pickle. What are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> Let's start from this side. Ooh. Kind of looks like she's jumping rope around the moon. Not so far ahead, I see my teacher and my class shuffling along. Wait, I call. Look! Everyone turns around. I show the dragon. Let's, we have another chance to do these. Let's try. The wall. Remember how this one went? The acrobat. Straight line. She has to bounce on it. So not very changing. The fireworks. The storm cloud. This one is kind of funky. The pool. Nice and calm. Ready? And the moon. Everyone is smiling. Hooray! They cheer and grab on too. Then 
off we go to the park in our slither slish, push a pat, snap, ta-da, crack, crickle, hiss, tug, kaboom, ripple, shh, a whoosh, squiggle of a line. This is a perfect one to end on. Let's try it. Really long one. The end. So you buy pickle. Pickle. <laughs>